Today, we will watch Chef preparing fruit masterpieces with a fun and exciting spirit. Well, welcome again. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I know it's a little bit early, but one of the, one of the really, really, really nice sweets that I love to make every year Usually you don't have them until October because they're usually around fall when we want to have them. But they're called caramel apples. Oh, they're so good. I love caramel apples. Caramel apples are very, very simple to make. All you need are just a couple things. You need an apple, preferably a red apple because, well, sometimes the green apples are a little bit sour. But the red apples, oh, they're just so good. And the red apples usually are easier to work with. And you'll find out that, you know, working with an easy apple is so much better than working with a hard apple. Anyway, the other thing you need is what's called a skewer. That's right, skewer, not sewer. That's right, we don't want anything sewer in our kitchen. But we do want skewers because skewers are what we use to pick up the apples so we can get them into the caramel and that is where the sweetness is. And then obviously you just need a little bit of caramel. Now because of time today we don't have a lot of time to make the caramel but normally I would make the caramel over a stove and you just mix it together and oh it's so good. But I found that this caramel will work just as well to make a caramel apple. So, we have everything that we need here. You've got your apple, you have your skewer, and you have your caramel. So all you have to do is simply take the skewer, which has the sharp point, and you simply just need to get it into the apple. Oh. <laughs> so all you have to do is you just have to sit there and get the skewer, and you just simply just put it into the apple. Oh. Oh. So the first thing you do is you want to take your skewer and you want to get it into the apple. And sometimes that's a little, oh, oh, well, and you simply just need to get it into the apple. Oh, let's, let's try that again. You sit there and you take the skewer and you put it into the apple. Oh, I don't know why this is so difficult. Uh, you take the skewer and you put it into the, into the, oh, why is it so hard? You sit there and you just take it. Oh, oh. I do not know what's wrong here. This has never happened before. Usually the sharp end of the skewer goes into the apple very easily. But today I'm having all kinds of issues. Uh, you sit there and you take it. Oh, oh, oh my. Uh, this is not working. I, I need to, uh, I need to find uh, something, a uh, frying pan, yeah. I need a frying pan. Chefs always use a frying pan. I found that a frying pan works really, really well when you're sitting there trying to get a skewer into an apple. Because all you have to do is just take it, oh, oh no. Um, well, that was not gonna work very well. Um, you take the skewer and the frying pan, you line it up, and you sit there and you take it and you put the skewer into the apple. It's really that easy. Anybody can do this. It's not hard. So we have, we have one skewer in an apple and we just need to finish them out. <laughs> so you take the skewer and you put it into the apple. <laughs> Here we go again. You take the skewer and put it into the apple. Oh, this is this is not working right. This is not working right. Chef, what has your toughness given you? Look at you. You're weak on your own. Don't you know that the toughest men know how to be gentle? You must show gentleness to portray your strength. Now listen to me and calm your heart. Take all of the angry toughness and throw it away. Now use gentleness and you will have your success. Yes, God, you're right. You're right. And 
I need, I need to let that gentleness come back over me. Father, I need to uh, just not get so upset and just, you know, just I need to calm down. And Father, I thank you for correcting me and I, I am listening and I am going to be more gentle and I am going to work hard to try to do this the right way in a gentle way. Amen. Okay, so I found that I really don't need a frying pan. What I really need to do is I need to just gently take this skewer and just gently put it in. And then you can add the caramel, which we're going to do right now. Thank you for joining us for Cooking with Chef. Feel free to quietly head to your small group classes and have a fruitful day.